All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. So as we uh, as we await uh, further uh, gameplay footage of UFC 4.1 Elbow DLC, we've recently had an announcement that the career mode, uh, the early access career mode for Undisputed is going to be dropping in the autumn, uh, or the fall as you guys call it in the States. Uh, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm a I'm an offline player in in games now. Uh, my online days are long behind me, so I've been looking forward to this career mode, and I'm looking forward to the UFC Five career mode, if you can believe that. But uh, yeah, but we're going to be getting this early early autumn, early fall. So let's go through the video together, and uh, I'll be stopping at certain points just to go over a couple of things that we can see on screen, and probably just ask a couple of qu curiosity questions just to see. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's have a look. What is going on, Fight Fans? This is Edward, your content manager, and I got some exciting news to share with you today. Career Mode and Character Creator will be making its debut in Undisputed this fall. We recently demoed Career Mode to the press at Gamescom, so you should start seeing the first impressions roll out in the days and weeks to come. Just like the rest of Early Access, Career Mode and Character Creator will ship in a beta state, and we'll be listening to your feedback to make improvements as we continue to develop. This okay, just want to pull back a little bit, just go over some of these, uh, some of these screens. I'm always interested to see like what kind of how the, the customization of the character is going to look so you know these sliders i'm liking these so far the way it'll just like it's not just like preset faces i'm sure maybe one of these options might have like presets and uh but i like the way you can like push these sliders to the extreme or to the to the opposite end of the extreme have them you can make you can either make like realistic looking people or extremely like wacky <laughs> you know like over the top like like ridiculous sliders like if you want like a joke character I, I love that it's it's kind of set up like this rather than say something like we've had in like ufc games which is very limited unfortunately like i, I wish the career mode in ufc games would be a lot would would be set up a little bit like this rather than just picking sort of the same face and body presets and hairs that we've had for since the first ea sports ufc game i've noticed we're, we're recycling all that stuff which is not really a shock to anyone but i mean we can only see this portion here, so we've got like, you know, things like your jaw, you know, all that stuff. All that, well, all that's just focused on the jaw. It says career mode and character creator will ship in a base. Fucking hell, look at them tits. Fucking hell, gives a suck on them. Uh, height, body fat, sliders, good stuff. Weight, uh, a reach slider, you know, change your weight class. I'm really excited to like del delve into some of this. And some people out there are really good at making. Uh, Calves and stuff like that, you know. Uh, MB's 4K gaming world. I'm sure he's chomping at the bit to, for the, to get hold of this career mode and start making uh, his own created boxes. Is you know, if you're looking, if there's a fighter share thing in this game, which I think that eventually will be, you know, you, you're gonna be you're gonna be wanting to download off guys like him and other guys and guys like him who are good at really creating, you know, likenesses that they see. You know, I, I'm fucking terrible at it. Everyone who I make just ends up looking he the same. Stay. And we'll be listening to your feedback. To me. Okay, I was excited. I was wondering how much customization they're going to give us with the gear. So, like, you know, we got a pair of they rivals. Yeah, yeah. So you got like color change. Got the RGB scale there. How extreme you want the color? Bit of brightness. I was hoping we'd be able to do something like that. At least just change the look of your gloves. You know, I always liked that in Fight Night Champion, where you could you could customize different sections of the glove change the color things like that so i'm glad it's not just like oh here's a pair of like blue rival gloves and you're stuck with it you know if you you might you might get a pair of blue ones and you're like oh I'll, i want to change them to something like to, to red like or whatever you know so i'm happy that the just a little thing like that i'm i'm, I'm pleased that we get the option to just change colors and stuff as we continue to develop what is this? It's like a fight top for the for the female boxer. So same same kind of thing. I'm gonna guess uh, changing your colours and stuff. And this also means I'd rather have it than not have it. You know what I mean? So I'm glad that it's there. You got some tattoos. Uh, I guess that's that list of options from the first sort of still that we paused on there. So there's some features. Such I don't want to kind of sp like uh, like peruse over this too much. I want like the fresh experience when I first get the game. So like. Just like little speculations at this point and, and 
questions and queries. Such as a robust amateur career or using your creative fight. Oh, okay. I, I wanted to see something like this. So we got like select like your your punch style. So you got like you know your stance orthodox, and the other one will be southpaw. Block will be you know switching between like your traditional block, that sort of cross guard, uh, maybe like a Philly shell kind of block. Again, that's very fight night esque. And uh, I was hoping, and like I say, this is early days of a career mode yet. It's a career mode beta, so there's oh, fingers crossed room for for changes down the line. But what I was hoping for with this game's uh, career mode, in terms of like how you fight, how your boxer actually fights, was was being able to select a, a range of punches and put them in certain punch slots. So do you know what I'm saying? If you've played like a, you know, UFC four there, like in my career modes, I always, you know, you've got your basic jab and your basic cross, but I always like unlocking like the loop and cross and the snap jab and swapping those original default jabs and crosses out and putting my own versions in there you know and i was i was kind of hoping that we'd get this with this like i say i, I hope maybe we'll get some change but for the for the now it's just looking like it's letting you cycle through a bunch of like uh you know move sets that already exist so you, you know you can see like jones you'll have jones juniors and i think Peter's we just let him throw a couple online. of shots here he's we'll got he had like the jones junior animation there and like that's that's no stranger to boxing games you know we've had that in in fight night champion you'd have things like uh, the textbook move set you'd have the sniper style you'd have the the power puncher style it'd make your punches look a bit different and it would also give you a slightly different stance um and then also with Fight Night, you had like, you know, picky type of block and obviously, you know, whatever stance, yeah, Southport or Orthodox, that's in all of them. But ah, I was kind of open we'd, we'd be able to like swap out the because there's a there's a few, a few. I know this game gets a lot of shit for its animations and, you know, I've been very critical of a, of a lot of the animations. But there's some animations, achima- an- what the fucking hell does that word mean? There's some animations that I actually like the look of. There's like... Um, I don't know, there's a few fighters who've got it in the game, but like, uh, off the top of my head, like Garcia, like, he's one of them who has it, and it's the left up to the body that I like the look of, but then there's other fighters like Tyson Fury who have that really, like, shit-looking one, you know what I mean? So, in my head, I was thinking, oh, I'll swap out that, if me, like, I'll give me box of that really good left up to the body animation that I like, and, you know, um, Oh, I was just hoping we'd be able to like individually choose which punch that you want to assign to a boxer, so you've got like a completely unique... Uh, set of uh, punches like you know you oh, I'm, I'm hoping we get that ex- that range of customization i mean this is kind of what i feared that would we would we'd be starting with there's just you just pick like a default set and i'm harping on about this a lot but this, this was kind of what i was most looking forward to seeing if we'd see something like this but um it's a start you know what i mean it's a uh, We'll have to see what happens down the line, but just just a slight shame you couldn't just like completely swap out every punch for like a, a different look and punch, you know. Anyway, let's continue. Online will come later. So, what can you expect from the early access versions of Career Mode and Character Creator? You'll be able to start your career mode with any of the licensed fighters available in the game, or you can create your own character from scratch and build your legacy. Character. Okay, that's. Uh, I'm glad you can. You can do that. That's kind of things that have been in again. Fight Night, uh, UFC Four. You could definitely do that, where you could like either create an existing fighter and uh, like a, like take Nick Diaz through the career mode in UFC, and or just make a completely uh, original calf from scratch. So I'm glad they're giving you the option there if you want to do that. If you want to take a, a an existing boxer that you love and take them through a career, you know, go for gold that way, or you know, just make make yourself if you like, or and or just some you know completely random calf and take that to the top and all that so i'm glad there's the choice of doing both the creator and career mode features both men and women's divisions so you can choose to create your own boxer customize your fighter from the hairstyle the body weight even the clothing and fighting style to your liking once you start your career you immediately start building a team what are we looking at here so this is like building teams of like cut men and i mean first of all look at that charlie z hairline there jesus that's fucking brutal in it fucking hell Aegis Clemus, fucking hell, mate. That is a Charlie Zillan of hairstyle if I ever seen one. So this is like select managers. Andy Turner. I went with a, a lad. I went to school with a lad called Andy Turner. Um, so all this is going to have different effects and different payouts and stuff like that. 
Let's carry on. Immediately start building a team around you. Assemble the I best don't manager, too much cut man, and coach around your fighter to progress and develop your skills, earn money, fame, affinity, and experience as you rise up the ranks. I'm interested in training. Your path to Sorry, I talk at the same time as Fanatico there. I'm interested in training. If, are we going to get training sessions? What kind of training sessions are we going to get? Are we going to be able to actually play the training sessions or are they just going to be like simulated things? But we'll see what, what happens. Choose the opponents you want to fight and those that you want to avoid. Negotiate fight contracts to earn the most rewards. Do you want to ensure that a rematch clause is in the contract or that the purse is a 50-50 split? Well, in the undisputed career mode, you have the freedom to negotiate the terms of the fight. Just make sure you have some leverage before making outrageous demands or you'll find yourself <laughs> without a fight. With training camp, you can fine tune your skills where your training choices will determine your strategy for your next opponent. Don't. Oh, okay. Uh, this is interesting. He, cl he clicked on the sort of the training tab there. We had like media and something else there. I'll go back. So, look at this list of training sessions here. Now, the big question is, are you going to actually be able to do these? Are these actual mini games that you can do? You've got punch bag, power punching, speed bag, defensive training, uh, defensive spar and skipping ropes, or jump rope as you call it in the States. Training dummy, offensive spar and speed bag, speed routine, yoga, and uh, a dietary change. Look at that, look at the, the soy training session there. Now, yoga's got its benefits. Um, you know, weeks until you fight. Okay, what does this say? A speed bag defensive trainer. Train your defensive stats by dodging the speed bag after a, after performing a combo. So, with this little description here, is this like telling you what you're about to do in the training session? And like, if this was just a like a simulated thing, and there is no mini game to do, you, you don't actually play any, play any of the training. Would there be any need to have this description here? Like, or is it just letting you know, oh, if you were going to be about to do a training mini game, this is what you'd be doing. But do you know what I'm saying? It's like, there's like the increase in what you'd be getting for doing it. That's hard to say. Like, if they just honey dicked you here by saying, you know, this is what you would be doing if you would, if, if we were, we were about to go into a, a speed bag defensive training session, but because it's a simulated session, but I'm hoping this description is just letting you know before you load into the training session, this is what your objective is interesting i'd like to i want to know more because that you know there's some maybe fun training sessions here and uh i always think well eventually you're gonna get bored of the training sessions and and just skip to the fight but i mean not if the training sessions are actually fun to do you know if you make your training sessions fun to do you're gonna want to like get the best performance out of the training session so you carry that into the fight you know what i'm saying but uh I'm sure they'll give you the option to simulate if you can do them. If you can actually compete in these training sessions, it'll probably give you the simulation option. If you just want to get to the fight, that's fair enough, you know. Um, but at least have a good training session that you can play if you want, you know. So what have we got down here? So this is like some fucking iPhone battery or something. So this is like what the energy that you're coming into the fight with, like whether you're at 100% or not. Fight sharpness. So that reminds me like UFC 4 a little bit, you know, like your fitness meter in the career where you can like overtrain and stuff like that. And if you push it into the red, you'll be like turning up to the fight with some kind of like penalty, like a like an injury or something. Weight, you've got to weight things to make sure you're actually on weight. Um, I wonder if we're going to get like, uh, like any kind of media conferences, you know, like press conferences, are you actually going to see your fight away in? Um, are you going to see them weigh in if you fuck up your weight and it'll be like oh this fight has missed weight by X amount of pounds and, and that shows you that in the cutscene um, you know are we going to get a different cutscene if you're actually on weight are we actually going to get a cutscene at all is there going to be anything like that interesting we'll have to wait and see I mean uh, yeah I'll be slightly disappointed if it's not there but I won't I'm not going to fucking I'm not going to set up a noose <laughs> do you know what I mean for myself if it's not there do you know what I mean like I'll accept that it's not there, but it'd just be nice, you know. Um, if they're going to throw these things in, like, media obligations into the actual foundations of the train and then go a bit further with it, like, you know, show us a few, like, uh, show us show us the, the media stuff in action, like a little a little face-off or a press conference or a weigh-in, you know what I mean? Uh, and then you've got your injuries section. Um, so, I mean, if it's anything like the... Uh, just uh, play it th off the top of me. I'm just thinking of like UFC 4's career mode. Like I, I like to play on legendary. 
for my careers in the, in those games and I'll be doing that in UFC 5 and the fucking AI in that game like if you if you know the career mode you know exactly what I'm talking about you're like you're very lucky if you can escape your training camps without getting brutally injured by the AI it's like coach Davis has got like an army of fucking cyborg terminators just trying to take you out at all times like and you're lucky to escape those training sessions with your life you know and you know, I'm, I'm normally stacking injuries in, in UFC 4 because the training pass, partners are just trying to kill me. So uh, hopefully we can actually do these training sessions and at the risk of getting injured, you know, like, and it's not just some kind of dice roll. Um, and that was a UFC 4 thing as well. Sometimes you'd get like a dice roll injury. Like you, you could, you, you could by a miracle get out of the training sessions unscathed. But then at the end of your camp, when you just simulate the rest of the week, uh, you know, the game just decides, oh, by the way, you, you got injured at the end of this week. I hope you don't mind us just giving you this just out of a shitty dice roll. I hated that, I fucking, that the dice roll injury, because, like I said, you could be as careful as you want in the training session, have the best fucking defence and slipping shots, and then at the end of the fucking progress fight bar here, the training bar, it'd be like, oh yeah, by the way, we're giving you an injury, whether you like it or not. I fucking hated that shit. I hope this doesn't have it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's continue, but at least a good sign here, a long list of training sessions, whether we get to actually do them or not. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Don't forget about undertaking media opportunities to increase your fame. That's important. What was that? Now there? The Let's just have a quick look important. at that. That now was media stuff. The unique... to increase... Where was it? Let's go back again. I just want to see. Like I said, then if they are going to force forget media shit down your throat, media then make it fun to do. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, social media post, live stream, a game of undisputed, sports blog photo shoot, fan meet and greet. Guest commentaries on a fight, TV adverts, sponsor a product. Like, it'd be funny if these actually... I mean, I don't know. I, I, the social media aspect is... I can take it or leave it. I fucking hate social media anyway, but... What's this? Social media post. Promote the fight with a social media post. And then your awards and whatnot. I hope there's no, like, uh, like penalty for not doing this. Like, I think in UFC 4, you just, like... You just wouldn't get as many fans, but I didn't give a shit about that. You know, you f you fucking earn your fans by by sleeping people in the ring. You know what I'm saying? You don't fucking earn fans by Conor McGregor fucking flapping your gums bullshit. To increase your fame, that's important. Now, the fun and the unique elements of career mode don't just stop at the pre-fight. Once you're in the ring, you'll benefit from Undisputed's dynamic coach advice system, where your coach will give you instructions on how to approach each round. And you're gonna need it, cause our adaptive AI will keep you on your toes as it reacts and changes tactics depending on how each fight plays out. The okay, I'm hoping like the AI has actually been improved a little bit in the last updates. You know, it's a little bit more challenging than it previously was. You know, when they first launched the game, uh, sorry, the early access, I think it was back in January or February. The AI was fucking ruthless, like, and it was it was sort of difficult to to get a win against, you know, the input reads were off the fucking scale, you know, that was like Skynet, they've obviously spent time at Coach Davis's gym, you know, and it was it was difficult, I found, but then they, they nerfed it a little bit, and it was it stayed in that state for like a good three or four months, where it was just unbelievably easy, even on the hardest difficulty, and since the last update, it's kind of started to go back towards what it was, uh, like when the game, uh, the early access first dropped, it's not exactly exactly how it was. You know, it's it's still you can still it's still very beatable. Excuse me, on the hardest difficulty, but uh, it's definitely getting more improved, and uh, we've got like a, at least another month or two till to, to this career mode drops. So, and they have actually said that they're gonna the AI tweaks are gonna be a constant thing. So, you know, it's it doesn't necessarily mean the AI that we've got now is gonna appear in the career mode. The, there's going to be further iterations of the AI, so that's a, that's, that's a promising thing. It's not just going to be the way it is now, hopefully. These features will keep you fully immersed in the experience of what it's like to be a boxing pro. Choose your path to glory, make your own goals, and define your success story. Will you win all the world title belts in the game, which include the WBO, the WBC, the IBF, and the SCI, the Steel City Interactive belt? retire with the biggest fan base or the most wealth the choice is yours do you have what it takes to become undisputed we'll share more as we get closer to our character creator and career mode release this fall in the meantime tell us down in the comment section below what you would like to know more about when it comes to the undisputed career mode and until next time peace out
Okay, something to look forward to then down the line. Uh, like I say, I've been waiting for this and I know a lot of other people have as well. Uh, like I say, I don't really care about the online it's career modes all what I'm excited for. So I just want like a, a, a fun, uh, decent, sort of semi-deep, uh, you know, career mode. It doesn't have to, have to be like the fucking groundbreaking, most groundbreaking thing we've ever seen, but I'll, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, there's not really much to talk about, really. Uh, I don't want to, like, peruse over too many screenshots, you know what I mean? I kind of want to just experience it when we first get it and figure it out there and then. I don't want to, like, to have too many guesses, you know? It is what it is when it, when we get it. Uh, so, stay tuned for... I think we're going to be getting some UFC 5 gameplay dropping soon. You know, either this week, the end of this week or next week. So, whatever we get, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to, you know, to to be back here with you and we'll go through it together and we can either point and laugh at it of how terrible it looks like I'm, I'm i've accepted to myself now that you know we've not got the things that we wanted um and we're, we're, we're getting what we're getting and there's no it, the game's already been made there's no point in crying about it unfortunately i mean it it disgusts me that they're charging the money that they are for that game but like for it, it it sickens me it, it if anything, it's like a, a fucking, and like I called it at the beginning, it's, it's like elbows and cuts DLC for UFC 4, but they're calling it UFC 5, and also it's on a, a, a completely different engine, so it's not as a, a, it's not as simple as that, but like, I just feel like the, the only new things that we've added to that game is elbows and fucking cuts, so for now, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.